Hey, Kentucky, it's George Herbert, Chief Forecast for Weather Now, Kentucky. And Hurricane Aaron is going to start making some headlines here very soon. Now, it won't actually impact, according to current data, uh, the United States in a typical fashion, but it will help to change our weather patterns. So let's dive into what we expect the changes to look like and what the results might be. So let's dive into some of that model data here. This is the European model. Now, this is typically one of the more accurate models, in my opinion, when it comes to long range products such as hurricanes, different pressure changes, so on and so forth. But let's go ahead. I just want to quickly just show you this is called the 500 millibar height anomaly, basically showing us where any blocks may set up and the jet stream, so on and so forth. It, it, there's a lot more to it, but that's the real simple version anyway. So right now, as you can see over Kentucky, the reason it's really hot is we have this big old block here. It's kind of shoved all the cold air up toward Canada, and it's really warm for much of the United States here, a little bit maybe toward average toward the western portion of the country. But anyway, that's as of Friday. Watch as we kind of scroll through here. Once again, you can just see it's just strengthening, strengthening, strengthening. So more of a central Canada block with two anomalies on the western and eastern side of it. But watch as we kind of look into the future here, into next week, if you will. We start to see Hurricane Aaron begins to really get going out there. Track is a little bit unsettled, but for the most part, it's it's pretty put in stone, if you will. Push it through here, though. I do want to show you what kind of happened. Look how strong that gets as it can just feel the effects of both low pressures on each side, basically on each ocean there, just really strengthening over the midlands. As we push this through, Watch what happens here. The hurricane starts to drag out to the east, and once it does, it does its job for us. It has now shoved that so far north that you're going to watch a piece of energy break in to the northern United States, allowing us to flip our pattern. Again, putting this into motion here late next week, going into Friday, Saturday. Now that block is no longer there, it's on the western side of the country, shoving all the way up into Canada. And because of that, the low pressure can now begin to move on out and watch how it just keeps us a little bit cooler maybe a little bit wetter so on and so forth and that block on this particular model run never gets to actually come back through and it continues to funnel colder than average air as well as perhaps the ingredients for some stormy patterns so what's that look like for us so let's go ahead and look at the precipitation type and rate the reflectivity map if you will and for this i'm actually going to zoom into the more of a regional look here so that way you can see kentucky with a little bit more clarity so again, advance this forward as for our weekend, really just hot, really just hot. Not a whole lot of activity. Again, more of the pop-up showers that we've been talking about for the last, I don't know, two months, if you will. Again, nothing to really write home about. Really, really warm until about mid next week. Really, really dry as well for the most part. But looks what happens here as we get toward later next week. We start to see some more systems begin to move. And that's Wednesday. It's a nice little rainmaker there. Pretty quick hitter. Uh, looking at the shape and size of this, as well as the timing, perhaps a low end severe risk. We'll dive into more of that as we get closer to Wednesday, of course. It can look a little bit different. But again, pushing this forward here, you'll notice just a little bit more activity to our south. And as that hurricane begins to rise up, that activity is going to start being able to be pushed back into our area. As we're looking at now, Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, the 26th, 27th, start to get a little bit more wet there. Some steadier rain patterns to end the month with. And of course, this can wiggle a little bit. This may end up being more into Kentucky, maybe not as much to our south. We'll see how that kind of trends. But overall, that's how the, the change of the pattern is going to be for wetness versus dryness. What does it do to our temperatures? As you can see this weekend and throughout next week, it's just it's just abysmally, disgustingly hot. Now, again, a lot of folks are saying this is typical summertime, but actually it's not. Average summertime temps for us for mid-August, we're talking about high temperatures, for example, it's actually closer to about 83 to 86 degrees for a high temperature. Now, I know it doesn't always feel like that, but that's our average. So when you're talking about temperatures, real real actual temperatures, not feels like or heat index, but real temperatures, uh, you know, being the highs of, you know, mid-90s, you're talking about abnormally warm conditions. It's not hypermongering or fear-mongering. It, it, it's a true statement. It's abnormally warm outside right now. And that trend will continue into next week. As you can see, highs still approaching the mid-90s for Monday as well. Even some highs showing up all the way up to 98, 99 degrees for southwestern Kentucky, where it's just been disgustingly hot for two months now. Again, advance this forward to midweek. You'll start to see our temperatures begin to change after this. But look at Tuesday before a lot of that rain begins to move in. Right before the cool down happens, it always gets its hottest, right? So Tuesday might be the hottest day uh, that we've had all year. 
Uh, again, looking at anywhere between 96 to 99 degrees for highs, uh, according to this model run. Uh, so advancing this forward to Wednesday, you'll start to see those temperatures begin to come down. There's your cold front. You'll see it along the Ohio River there. Wednesday evening along that rain line that we saw there. Watch the temperatures as a result. Boom, 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 boom. Just taken down there. And now that we're bound a little bit to the mid to upper 80s once again, but again, a lot more average versus being above average. We like that. We like that. So again, just going throughout here, Sunday into Monday, Tuesday, you'll see some even some 50s. I, again, this may change a little bit by the time we get a little bit closer, but really cool temperatures may actually set up for the end of August here, taking us into September. Uh, again, we we like that. So again, you saw for yourself right there on this one model run that after Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday afternoon, we didn't see a 90 pop up again. Now, again, that might change a little bit. A little bit of micro scale changes may lead to one to two degree difference change. Uh, so, uh, again, might look a little bit different by the time it actually happens. But, you know, we'll take the the change there. So our pattern is absolutely changing thanks to Hurricane Aaron. And I hope you found this video useful. And just know that we're almost through this insane heat that we're seeing that is actually abnormally warm outside.